<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know. Made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. Putting no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Soon! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <sighs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? She still got that fucking book. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Hmm. Patriots. Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Here we are! Well, 
well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just got to give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. <sighs> oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There's no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? A missile silo, decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. Got another one. This way. Let's find that escape hatch.
Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know-it-all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Way too many Hands up! Stay right yeah. where you are. How the f- He's not. <clears throat> he says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man. I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, not give them anything to drink. Freeze! I see fire <clears throat> on this side. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> 